Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. And I am a human being who has found himself targeted, infected with Morgellons, uh, infested and inoculated with uh, bacteria and virus and microscopic, parasitic, vampiric creatures, possibly genetically modified, electrocuted, poisoned, covertly drugged for years, blacklisted, uh, you know, the only thing they haven't done is kill me yet, and soon enough, you know. Now, I've been quiet for a while. Not because my life has been so fucking wonderful, excuse my French, but because because Petra is being severely abused by this technology and the V2K and uh, is being made afraid and thinking, you know, they keep telling her all these things. Oh, if you do this, then we won't do it. And of course, none of it is true. They do it anyway, you know? Every single time she said, oh, I gotta do this thing and then it'll be better. And it's never better. In fact, it gets worse. <clears throat> now, you know, I, I feel like I really don't have any other option but to speak, uh, you know, for myself. And, and I want people to understand something this is not a happy ending. There's no happy endings to this crap. You know, unless somehow God decides in his infinite wisdom and hopefully mercy to, you know, change all this. I don't see it changing because they don't seem to stop. And, you know, I've been very sick and dealing with horrible, horrible pain and discomfort and, you know, all caused by other people, not to mention the situations and the... We cleaned everything in our room, you know, scrubbing, washing, it's, it's insane. And we had just put a new vinyl cover on the mattress and wiped everything down with bleach. We didn't have any laundry for a day, so there was no cover on the mattress. And the next day we put the sheet and, you know, we were in the house the entire time. Nobody, the only time was when we were asleep, which was for several hours together. And uh, the next day I took the sheet and shook it out and put it back and I found under the sheet near the head of the bed this material that looked to me at the time like a piece of dried skin but upon further inspection under the microscope I realized this is not skin this is some type of you know either laboratory grown skin or a growth medium that resembles skin because it had no pigmentation no fingerprints, no hair follicles, no... And this piece of material looked so strangely alien under the camera. And granted, that may be partly because of my perspective and the way I shoot photos, but at the same time, you cannot bring out something, some quality in an object that it does not already have. It's very difficult. Um, and this piece of material, you know, it was smaller than an inch under the microscope revealed that it in fact was a, a, a city, a, a nest, uh, probably housing millions and millions of individuals. Um, there's rats or something jumping around back here. Uh, and all these little holes in it where there were eggs and, and just all this stuff. Uh, this is my jacket been hanging outside all day, hopefully. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you can see the pictures of this if I post them. I'm not sure if I will or not, but they're on my blog, uh, Tortured, Drugged, and Bugged. It's a WordPress blog.
by Timothy Trespass. Um, one of the last entries, mites, seeding, morgellons, whatever. And this thing was put into our room to release its contents, which then, you know, will cover everything because they're microscopic and they bite and go into your skin. And, you know, if you look at the same blog post, you'll see that uh, some very satanic looking material that is a scab of my skin, but it makes evident to me that I have uh, creatures living inside of me by the millions. The black light makes that evident as well because my body is covered in darkness, absorbing black light. My hands are black. There's millions of dots all over me and, and blackness and, uh, you know, it's eating my face. It's eating the flesh under my skin, uh, behind my eyes. It's in my eyes. It's probably, it's in my blood. When my blood comes out of me and I absorb it in a paper towel, what's left is millions of little dots, creatures uh, of various types. And, you know, I, I I'm being murdered by this method, a method that they're sure to get away with unless we catch someone specifically. And when I look back very carefully over my life, I realize that this has been going on for quite some time, a number of years, uh, many, many years, perhaps even as a teenager or possibly even to my birth. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know yet what the creatures are. There seems to be several types, some very tiny things that, that appear like little tiny balls of reflective light and other things that look like black and white fibers. Under my skin, not only are there tunnels dug and millions of inhabitants, but the white fibers seem to take up residence and make a mass of tubules connecting. I, I don't know what it is, what it's doing other than killing me, sucking the life out of me. These things may well have some other purpose. They may be genetically modified or contain nanotechnology or be viral delivery or uh, electromagnetic properties or you know, something of that nature. I have another theory that involves um, psychic parasites uh, developed you know, along the line of toxoplasmosis, a parasite that changes the thinking and behavior of the host. Um, you know, but as far as identification, I still need to send my samples to the lab. Whether I'll get anything back, I don't know. Uh, you know, and it's very difficult for me to comprehend how it is that someone or a group of people with so much money and expertise and technology and influence and power would waste so much time and energy and money doing this to me. Uh, you know, there's so many ways to kill people, and there's so many times I should have been dead from this, and so I, I can't say that I know what they're doing, but I can say that it is damaging me. I believe that this line down my face may be the result of that. Clearly all the, the, the skeletal sucked in -ness is from this and when you look very closely at my skin with a microscope you will see millions of little tiny white lines connecting uh, these are the burrows the tunnels the highways of these creatures and you know the v2k you were trying to tell me oh it's a a race of intelligent microscopic aliens yes well they're certainly alien to me because they're eating me and i don't want them there and the fact that someone could come into our room again while we're asleep, quite possibly putting us to sleep and everyone else using technology, 
radio or gas or something. We've experienced this before, being knocked unconscious. It, 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 it just, you know, it's not the only thing that happened. Things are missing, things are changed, things are different, things are not what they're supposed to be. You know, they've been doing this for years, and despite any security cameras or alarms, they all are defeated, and locks are no obstacle, and we are forced to move so many times that we have no opportunity to dig in and fortify anything, nor do we have money to purchase equipment to, you know, it, it's... I was looking at tea tree oil last night. Thank God my father, who still cares about me somewhat, uh, sent me a, a, us a gift certificate for a, a fancy food store here in the city, and besides groceries, they had you know, cosmetics and oils and stuff, and so I got some tea tree oil. But I was just, my mind was boggled at the prices of this stuff. It's like over $200 a pint. For, you know, it's just, oils, I can't believe how much this place was charging. So I managed to find a couple ounces for 14 bucks and, you know, spraying it all over me. But I, I have no idea what this is, really, besides some sort of mite. I have no idea what to do about it. I have no idea, you know, I'm like watching myself get sick and die and I can't, you know, I can barely think anymore. I, I get stuck, I can't, you know, the minute I get frustrated, I, I lose continuity, ability to reason and remember and, and uh, you know, I'm watching myself get sicker and weaker and more tired and and older and sucked in and broken and more and more things and, and eventually you know I've aged like 20 years in the past few years uh, so now that I've said all this you know the reason is that, that you need to know that there is no happy ending for this uh, like I said unless God chooses it and although I may say things that you wish you could say or uh, represent, you know, um, I'm out here a target, waving my arms around going, hey, hey, look at these bad people doing bad stuff. You know, I mean, who do you think is gonna get smacked? Me. So, uh, as much as I desire to help people understand and cope with the horrible reality of what's happening uh, I just want you to understand that, that you know this is as bad for us as it is for everyone and uh, I don't know I, I, I still believe that that sharing and speaking victims, uh, supporting other victims, and, and anyone else who happens to want to support people who are downtrodden and, and abused and belittled and dehumanized, please help. But, um, you know, this is an unending nightmare that makes you pray for death at times. and. and you know, and I realize how fragile my emotional and psychological state is the moment anybody does the smallest thing to disturb my life. I, I, I lose it. I start thinking about, you know, is it all right to kill myself? When could I do that? And what, what, at what point would you not want, you know, what does God want from me? And, and why does he want this for me? And what am I supposed to do with this, uh, you know? And I look around and I see all the other people in the world that are suffering so horribly and, and the things that people are doing to make this world worse. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand this world. I don't understand these people's beings drive for power, money, to hurt others. It, it, politics means nothing to me, uh, you know, innuendo and it's just, there's a lot more going on here than a lot of us realize and uh, although 
to realize some of these things is to, you know, stand on the brink of insanity and darkness. Uh, perhaps this knowledge is, is important. I, I just continue to pray that, that uh, you know, that God has a purpose for me for this. That, that, that it's, you know, and I wonder when I do finally die and I go to answer for my life, you know, are they going to welcome me and say welcome home? Are they going to spit me out and, and you know, I can't, I'm, I'm tormented by this. It's, so it's pretty much, uh, that's the story and um, I'll do my best to continue sharing my experiences with the world. Thank you for the people who care and support us. Uh, I'm sorry I need to follow up. I've been really out of sorts. And uh, Thank you for watching. God bless you.